Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. Uh, in this episode, I didn't really know where exactly to go from where I left off last episode, so right now, uh, I've just been going to a, a new world I made called World Boss, uh, where I just wanted to fight a bunch of uh, different pre-hard mode bosses. And uh, before I get started, also I got the Chlorophyte headgear. Uh, I don't think I showed that on the actual recording or episode. Uh, increases maximum mana by 80 and reduces mana usage by 17%. Also, 16% increased magic damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I also got blue and silver headgear die, so you can't really see, but uh, looks a little different. Uh, the Guarding Avenger Emblem, which I got by uh, beating the Wall of Flesh a couple more times. And then the Warrior, Ranger, and Apprentice Emblem, I think it is. Or Sorcerer Emblem, or whatever it is. All those emblems that the Wall of Flesh drops, uh, you can make those into the Avenger Emblem that increases damage to, of all types. Sorcerer, yeah, this one I also got for extra magic damage. Um, I also have a band of star power, increases maximum mana by 20, don't really need that. Um, blah, 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 nothing else really that important, I guess. Uh, the breaker blade is something you get from the wall of flesh. Also, these bladed gloves, uh, let me show those off real quick. Uh, up here, they just attack really fast, really close to you, and they don't really do that much damage. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Also, the web slinger. <laughs> um, someone, uh, one of you subscribers gave me a web slinger because he had an extra, and it's the thing someone posted in the comments, it's like the, um, uh, it's like the, the vine whip, or ivy whip, except you can get, like, eight or seven different, uh, web slinging things out, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it almost feels like the range on it is a little bit worse, though, so, I don't know, it's still good, though. Um, so right now what I'm gonna do is, I've already broken two of these, but now that I've broken the third one, the Eater of Worlds has appeared. And I'm going to fight him with this thing, so uh, just gonna do a bunch of damage, but or a little bit of damage, uh, really fast. And he really doesn't do much damage to me at all, so I already tested this a little bit ago, so it's, I think it's kind of cool. Just the whole idea of me doing barely any damage and stuff, but uh, I kind of want to beat him entirely with just this weapon, uh, just for the fun of it, because obviously this isn't really a challenge, and I'm not really getting anything that useful getting quite a bit of money, but um, also the Demonite Ore and Shadow Scale uh, is armor and weapons and tools that I already don't need. I've got much better stuff than that, um, but it's kind of fun just to have it anyways and just to see how much more powerful I am than what I once was type of thing. So huzzah, the Eater of Worlds has been destroyed. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Um, I could probably make a bunch of stuff with that Demonite and uh, scale, uh, Shadow Scale uh, and then sell it uh, or give it to any of you if uh, you wanted it. Uh, I've got some Demonite ore over there, don't really care too much about that. Uh, I just want to, oh look there's two in this one, uh, that's nice. Because now, uh, I've already beaten him twice now with the bladed gloves, so now I'm going to try using my uh, Keen golden shower and see how much easier it is to kill him with that. <laughs> Clearly much easier because it does much more damage and wow that's just yep that's just totally destroying him <laughs> and you can't really see too much because it's kind of dark. Let me put out a light. Uh, that didn't really give much light but wow that was that was a lot. <laughs> that was really easy. All right so let's see a shadow orb. Create a magic shadow orb. Let's see uh that's just some light. Yeah. Magical orb that provides light. That's cool. Uh, I've seen someone use that. Let's see the goodie bag. Oh! <laughs> nice. Uh, the karate tortoise stuff. That's that's awesome. Uh, I think we all know what that's referencing. If you don't, then I, I don't know how to describe it to you, but... <laughs> that's uh, now I'm a uh, karate tortoise. That's awesome. Yeah. Alright, so anyways, uh, let's see, anything in here? Eh, nothing useful. Don't want to waste uh, room in my inventory on that. Oh no, look, I have two shadow orbs. Uh, anything else of interest? I guess not. Um, Alright, so I'm actually just going to go back to uh, my normal World 8 now. Because um, that's just a fun little get rid of those bosses. Uh, see what kind of loot they have. And also, what the... Why did I... Did I drop that? Why did that happen? I don't know. Um, anyways, also, I got these uh, trophies for defeating the Wall of Flesh and the Eye of Cthulhu, because I had like seven uh, suspicious looking eyes, and I probably should have recorded it, but uh, 
I just destroyed the wall of flesh. Or not the wall. Well, I also destroyed the wall of flesh, but um, I mostly destroyed the uh, Eye of Cthulhu quite a few times. And obviously, my glowing mushroom garden is growing. And uh, I've kind of got. Um, oops. Uh, let's see. Up here, I did kind of start trying to farm the uh, chlorophyte. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Uh, I think it might have to be like underground or have a mud wall around it. If you know why this is or isn't working, I'm pretty sure it also has to be like growing during the day because it says it reacts to light. But um, anyways, if you know why that is or isn't working, uh, let me know in the comments. And I should probably uh, get my normal stuff back. The karate tortoise is nice, but uh, I prefer my normal stuff. Um, there we go. Alright, so you can kind of see what I look like uh, with that headgear because I've got the blue and silver dye. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, I think my guide is dead right now, <laughs> just because I was fighting the wall of flesh uh, a lot. Alright, so actually having this headgear does kind of lower my defense a bit, because the magical headgear doesn't uh, give me as much defense as the other headgear. But that's alright. Uh, I don't really need too much defense, I guess. Uh, let's see, shop. He can give me a bunch of stuff. That's cool. Don't really want it, but... Um, <laughs> Sell the Shadow Orb, I can, wow, I can actually sell that for quite a lot, and who knows, it might be better to make something with it and then sell it, but, oh well, don't care that much about uh, the money that I make. Eh, I don't want to get rid, I don't want to sell the, um, the Band of Star Power yet, and I probably will end up selling it. Eh, Ebonstone, that's useless, uh, Ash Block, also useless, File Thorn. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it that I'm going to sell for right now. Um, but, alright, so, uh, let's see. You, what, how much money do I have? 81 gold? That's quite a bit, but still not even half enough for the Clentaminator. Um, let's see. So, obviously, the corruption is still kind of growing on this side. I don't know if I really talked too much about how much, uh, I'm trying to get, or yeah, I did do the purification powder, but, uh, just trying to dig all this out because I want to get, um, I want to get everything dug out above that little surface area. And I just <laughs> I realized I just placed a, uh, a torch and then I got rid of it. But also you may have noticed that I just picked up another item, um, the Lucky Fast Clock. Uh, it's an accessory. Here it is. It grants immunity to slow. And uh, I checked with the guide earlier because I have another one somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I just saw it. Um, a fast clock, so yeah. I don't need both of them, because, um, well, you know what? If you want one, I don't know really, it's not, it doesn't seem that great to me, because it's immunity to slow. And then, uh, only, like, the pixies, uh, really cause slow, as far as I know. Or also the ice enemies, uh, can sometimes cause slow. Um, but, uh, if you want it, I guess I could give it to you if you're able to, like, join... Uh, multiplayer session and all that, but um, obviously you can see that I'm just doing a bunch of digging, <laughs> getting rid of a bunch of stuff, but uh, wait a minute, do I still have it uh, in my inventory? Nope, uh, it's somewhere else. Um, there was another accessory, because kind of like my next goal right now should be to fight Plantera, but uh, right now I'm actually kind of focused on trying to make, here we go, uh, a bunch of um, accessories. But this, the Feral Claws, it increases 12%, or increases my melee speed by 12%, and uh, the damaged KO Cannon, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it shoots out kind of like a harpoon gun, if you uh, remember that uh, item. It shoots faster the closer you are to your enemy, so that's kind of cool. But um, the Feral Claws, you can combine them with the Titan Glove, I think, uh, in order to make... Um, What's it called? In order to make a power glove, and then you combine that with the Avenger emblem, I think, to make the mechanical glove, which you combine with the magma stone to make that fire glove. And wait a minute, I didn't mean to go here. This isn't where I meant to go. Uh, this is my. Um, wait, did I go to the right place? No, this is a world ore. Uh, this is one of the other worlds that I made um, in order to just explore to get more ore, <laughs> obviously. But um, right now, I'd actually... Ah, dang, I just missed it. Um, let's see. 
I'd like to try to explore for more, um, for more, what's it called, uh, floating islands. So, this one I've already explored, and I might end up finding a wyvern in here. Uh, it might appear or something. But, uh, check the chest, and yeah, nothing really useful. Um, so of course that's a harpy spray back there, but, um, of course this is a giant tree that reaches all the way almost into space. <laughs> but, uh, just gonna try to explore for more floating islands, which is a lot easier when you have, uh, wings. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, let's see, I think I'm flying a little bit too high to actually find any, um, to actually find any uh, floating islands, but uh, the keen golden shower is not exactly the best for uh, finding floating islands or anything. But um, let's see, I probably should have just done this off screen, but uh, I'm looking for the floating islands because I think the uh, titan glove comes from the floating islands. I'm not sure. It's probably from the jungle, <laughs> um, but uh, let's see. So yeah, it might have been over there, right here or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know where the Titan Glove is. <laughs> I could look it up. Uh, or if you know, you could let me know in the comments or something. But, alright. So I'm actually looking at the map and not actually at my person or anything. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to find the Titan Glove because obviously I can use that to eventually make the uh, Magma Glove or Magma Stone that I have into uh, an even better item. Uh, so yeah, I'm really working right now, like I said earlier, um, on just trying to get a bunch of accessories uh, to help out with fighting, uh, because I still haven't been able to beat the I've the not the Ipkithu, the twins, uh, which is kind of lame because they're not really that hard when you think about it. Uh, I've just had really bad luck with um, beating them, I guess, and really it's more bad skill. But uh, let's see, just trying to explore the sky. This is actually a large world, I remember. Uh, I built it as a large world. Um, so there might be a few more floating islands than there were on my uh, World 8. Uh, so that's also why it's a little bit harder to search for them. Could use gravitation potions. And oh look! Uh, the wyvern! Uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, so yeah, that was, that's kind of cool. But um, uh, what was I saying? I guess the wyverns do appear wherever you are in the sky. Uh, or maybe it was just following me since I was on the floating island, which was kind of a while ago. Uh, but here I am, back at the floating island. Alright, so now, just explore to the left. Ah, oh boy. Uh, that didn't, that wasn't a very good jump. <laughs> um, Alright, so, I don't know, what else am I supposed to do? I know I'm supposed to find and fight uh, Plantera, but right now I feel like just exploring this world raining ichor upon myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think I should do next if I should uh, continue uh, just looking for the floating island. Because uh, I'm sure there's something else that's interesting uh, that I can find in the floating island. Um, or just if I should stop looking for accessories and uh, just try finding the twins again. Uh, or if I should fight him. Fight Clam Terra, or uh, do something else. I don't know. I also got the Soul of Might uh, from the Destroyer, and I know that makes stuff <laughs> like weapons, but uh, I don't know exactly what I should use it for. If there's anything I really do need to use it for or anything. Uh, let's see. Oh look, floating island. Let's see. Hopefully it has Titan Glove, but again I have a feeling it that the Titan Glove doesn't appear here. And oh wow, the Hollowed actually uh, made its way up here. That's cool, and oh, a red shiny balloon. Yay, and stuff, that's not actually useful, but uh, <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just back on my hunt for uh, the other floating islands. Yay. <laughs> Alright, uh, probably not gonna find any more. Uh, but who knows? I don't know. Clearly, and oh look, the jungle. Uh, might as well. Look for some more chlorophyte uh, in here. I've already been through here, obviously. And, oh, look, a mimic. That's also good, because it also has an item that I'd like, maybe. Nope, just a dual hook. Uh, so, yeah, oh, look, chlorophyte. Um, 
Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing this episode. Uh, just exploring nowhere. Or, uh, well, obviously I'm in the jungle, so that's kind of a bit of exploration. I'm using the golden shower as my light source, which uh, is not very effective. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, pwn hammer as my light source. Uh, let's see. Still, there's a beehive in there. I could fight the abomination again, but nah. Don't really feel like it. Uh, let's see. It's a bunch of hornets. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could find the... Uh, actually, there's something else I didn't mention uh, back uh, in uh, World Buscus. I mean, not World Buscus. Uh, World 8. So, you know what? I don't care about the jungle anymore. I want to mention something else before this random episode ends. Because I don't know how long I'm going to uh, keep this episode going. Because I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, alright. Down here, uh, you might have seen it earlier. Uh, this thing is a teleporter. And you flip the switch, and huzzah! I'm down here in the underworld. Which is, this is, this is bad. This is dangerous. I don't want to be in the underworld. Uh, even though I was just fighting the wall of flesh. And, uh, wasn't that bad. But, um, there's also this new enemy. I don't know if it's because I defeated one of the hard mode bosses that now, like, the underworld is now hard mode or something. But, um, it seems to be that way because, uh, I'm not seeing it right now, but there's, like, a new demon, <laughs> uh, new demon type enemy, uh, that's pretty difficult to, uh, defeat and it's very, very powerful. But, um, so yeah, this is where I would fight the Wall of Flesh. I don't have any more, uh, guide voodoo dolls, and uh, I don't have a guide. <laughs> uh, so I was also thinking about redoing the houses uh, for all my people, because uh, I was reading up on like the minimum requirements of a house, and now I kind of want to make like the bare minimum requirements for a house, and just make that, that little tower um, of housing, and then uh, do something with that, or something, I don't know. Alright, and I'm pretty sure... Oh look, uh, Voodoo Demon. And is that going to fall in the lava? It is, but I don't have a guide. So it doesn't summon the, uh, the Wall of Flesh. I should get rid of this so that I don't think it's an actual chest. Alright, uh, and you can see the remnants of uh, all the times I fought the Wall of Flesh. Um, Alright, I heard the bat and I thought I was going to be under attack, but apparently not. And all right, so I guess, I don't know. How long is this episode? <laughs> uh... Let's see, ah, why did I <laughs> fell right in the lava? Um, back up here. I really don't need the rope anymore, because I could use the magic mirror to get back, or just use this to go back and forth, and back and forth. Um, I had, obviously I was doing a little bit of a landscaping demolition right there. Um, clearing out this area, because again, I want to clear out everything that's above that surface layer. Um, and I want a GPS, which is why I wanted to fight the mimics. Um, because they can drop a GPS that lets you know, like, your latitude and longitude and all that. And, uh, still waiting for this to fill out. And I could probably build a house for the shroom guy, uh, as this is. And, you know what? I will try to build a house for him. Uh, where? I don't have any wood, so... <laughs> Great, I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I don't really need. Uh, not there. Well, quick stack. Anything? Wood. All right. Uh, let's see, my house building adventures. Alright, over here, gotta make sure that's actually in the, uh, the glowing mushroom biome. I think this is a good enough house, uh, as far as, like, how wide it is. Oops, uh, get rid of that. Make room for the door. First, I gotta make a workbench. Uh, which, of course, I could have made it, uh, later. I mean, uh, earlier. But, uh, oh well. Then, chair. And, let's see. The chair and the light source. And then now I just need some wood walls. And, I never know how to properly guess, <laughs> or correctly guess, how much wood wall I need. Or how much wall in general. Probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to make more. Oops. Uh, nope, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And let's see, how much wood does this take? Uh, still a little bit more. But, uh, no, more than four, I know that. Uh, eight. Did I just... Yeah, I dropped some of it. Oh, well. 
And let's see. Still need a little bit more. Or actually, let's see. If you click on this house and a housing query, uh, this housing is suitable. All right. So now I just got to wait for the shroom guy, hopefully, uh, to show up. And actually, wait a minute. Uh, do I have a guide? Does it... No. Okay. So what's interesting about this is that uh, hmm. there's actually two more uh, aside from the guide. There's the shroom, the guide, and a cyborg that's supposed to move in. Maybe one or two other uh, NPCs that I don't know about, but, um... Alright, so that's gonna be interesting. And I do know that there's the, uh, Shroomite, um... What's it called? Like, the Shroomite armor that you can make with the Chlorophyte bars that, uh, I think is supposed to increase your ranged attack damage. So that's kinda cool. And, ah, oh, the bunny's back to a normal bunny. I think that might mean that the Halloween theme stuff is over. But, I don't know. Maybe it's still going. Because uh, it is actually October. I mean, it is. Of course it's October. But um, <laughs> it's uh, Halloween today. Uh, October 31st. And I don't know. What are you guys' plans for Halloween? I don't really have any plans, I don't think. I mean, I guess I'm just staying home and uh, passing out candy to children. And Oh, look, the guide has arrived. All right. <laughs> um, anyways, so what's your... Uh, that probably sounded weird the way I said it. But <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, Brandon, uh, what do you have to say about the fast clock, uh, the plan which you make from the trifold map, which I don't know how to get. I'm assuming maybe from, uh, pirates or something? Uh, the plan, uh, makes you immune, grants you immunity to, uh, slow and confusion. Uh, Pharaoh Claws, Power Glove with the Titan Glove, increases knockback. Uh, let's see, Band of Star Power. Okay, the Band of Regeneration, if I also get that. So... That makes sense, because I was looking at the shackles, and the mana regen- wait, mana regeneration band. That's- is that not what I was looking for? Band of star power? Yeah, this is mana regeneration band. Okay. Uh, but that's strange, because I just realized that the band of star power increases maximum mana by 20, the band of regeneration slowly regenerates health, but when you combine them, uh, it makes the mana regeneration band that increases mana regeneration rate and increases mana- that increases maximum mana, but doesn't do anything with the life regeneration. So that's interesting. Uh, don't remember where to get it, but... Oops. Um, so the Destroyer Emblem, that's interesting. I have the Golem, don't know where to get that. But the Destroyer Emblem increases damage and critical strike chance. But the Mechanical Glove can be made with the Power Glove and the Avenger Emblem. And then if you remember... Uh, stop that. Uh, <laughs> the Magma Stone. You combine it with the mechanical glove, gives you the fire gauntlet, which increases melee knockback and inflicts fire damage on attack, and 9% increased melee damage and speed. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's not quite the same, because if I got the destroyer emblem, that's 10% increased damage on everything, uh, and not just my melee. And I don't know where to find the golem, or how to fight it or anything. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Anything else of interest? Oh, hey, mushroom grass seeds. They can help increase the spread of uh, the mushroom grass. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's about here. And that should spread out and finish that. Oh, yeah, the shadow orb. I don't know if I can uh, make anything with that. Probably not, but who knows? Yeah. All right. Uh, nope, wait, come back. <laughs> uh, crafting shadow orb. Nothing. All right. And the Souls of Flight, you can actually make a bunch of different wings that I found out uh, while looking stuff up. And um, the different wings actually have different, uh, like, max flight distance. And I think if I remember, the uh, Frozen Wings are one of the best, best uh, wings that have the highest um, flight length. So uh, that's good. <laughs> I was able to get that one. Uh, Chlorophyte. Excuse me, uh, clarify or no, I'm just making the bars. All right, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, sorry for the, there's a penguin in the house. <laughs> sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. This is probably a boring episode, but um, all right, so clarify bar. Let's see all the stuff that I can make with the clarify bar. I already kind of know some of the stuff I can make with it, but uh, again, I really need to do something. He's talking to a penguin. All right, um, nope, that's wood. Uh, clarify bar. Okay, so the helmet, and actually, what's really cool is the chlorophyte bullet apparently chases after your enemy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to use that, but, um, 
Let's see what else do I make. Uh, the Spectre Hood increases maximum mana by 80 and reduces mana usage by 17%. 10% increased magic damage and critical strike chance. Uh, this Spectre Robe has 7% increased magic damage and critical strike chance. And Spectre Pants, 8% increased magic damage and 8% increased movement speed. I really want that. Uh, and the Spectre Pickaxe apparently has uh, plus 3 range, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can also make the Turtle Helmet, which uh, increases your defense but makes enemies more likely to target you. And the Shroomite Bar, uh, which you actually need the Auto Hammer. Uh, and that's something I think you get from the Steampunker, I think. Or maybe from the Shroomer person. Shroom person. But uh, anyways, uh, so you need Chlorophyte Bar and Glowing Mushrooms, which is why I'm collecting so many Glowing Mushrooms, because I remember reading that you need a whole bunch of uh, mushrooms. So, uh, yeah. This, I really want the Spectre armor, because I do like using magic um, and increased movement speed, so that's always nice. But uh, obviously, unfortunately, that uh, doesn't give me as much uh, defense power. Alright, so uh, rope, you can just make the rope coil, which I never really use. I don't really have any need for rope anymore because of uh, my ability to fly. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.